Welcome, my name is Chris and this is uh, the third video of our Doctite YouTube channel. This time I will show you how to dock a covalently bound ligand when you don't have a template ligand in place. So we have to create dummy atoms this time. I used just the same example as uh, in the last video. Um, for all ligand preparation and receptor preparation steps, please see the last video. This was post prediction of PDB ID 1 INC. We had a benz known warhead bearing ligand in this example and docked it into the pancreatic allostase. Okay. I use the files from the last time, the Coffrec Prepmo, and you see we have no ligand in place. But we have our serine residue here. Um, we know this serine residue might be the nucleophilic residue for our docking. And we want to assign the active site around it. For this purpose, we go on Compute and open the Site Finder application. We can just use the default values and click on OK. On Apply, excuse me. Um, we see the first site is just around the serine residue. This looks very nice. The second one is far away, we can skip this. And the third one is again around the serine residue, now on the other side of the serine residue. As we don't know exactly where our ligand uh, will be docked, we use just both of the, of the sides. We have now a very nice surrounding of our serine residue and we create dummy atoms by clicking on dummies. Now Mo asks if we want to create dummy atoms at the alpha sphere centers here. We want to do this. Now we can close the site finder application and we have our dummy atoms in place. So now we have to delete the nucleophilic residue for the docking purpose and the surrounding the neighboring atoms. I just showed you this in the in the last video. But we will do it here again. Now we have the problem it is not violet, right? Um, but when you it, it is per default um, active, but if it's not active, you can go to select and synchronize. Now you have um, everything that is selected in the Mo window also selected in the sequence editor. Now I selected the serine here and now I see this serine is um, the nucleophilic one even if it's not with the violet margin. Now I select the surrounding amino acids and I show the selected. I delete nucleophilic residue and I delete carbonyl group and amine group of the surrounding amino acids. I will just save this file as a new file. It's now our 1inc ser delmo for this example and I save it as a mo file. The next steps are just as in the last example we go on Pharmaco for docking. Oh, but we have to change the force field before. We can change the force field by clicking by clicking on this button here. Now the Merck molecular force field, what's the default is selected. We click on it. We load the M12 force field and fix the charges. Now we see we have selected the M12 force field, which is now used for everything we make, like energy minimization or docking refinement. Okay, we use the default output name. We use our Pharmaco4 file, which is the automatic one, like in the last example. But now, you see, before we used uh, as the side definition ligand atoms. We can't use this one because the set contains no atoms. 
but we created dummy atoms, we can now use site dummy atoms. As ligand, we use the attached ligands like before. We use pharmacophore docking, raise the number of return posts to 5000. We use the affinity dg scoring function. We retain 100 poses. We use force field refinement, retain also 100 poses. And now we have to uh, set the force constant for the force field refinement by clicking on configure and set the force constant to 1 to the power of 9. Just like in this last example. We are done now. We can click on run. And we can watch what Mo is doing now by clicking on the SVL button. So now we have 7101 hits from Pharmacophore Search, like in the last example. We return 5000 of them and uh, keep 4000 non duplicate poses and we refine 100 poses of them. As this is just the same as in the last example. It makes no difference if we define the site by ligand atoms or by dummy atoms. Um, I will skip this now and I recommend to watch the last video for the further steps like RMSD calculation and sidechain cleavage. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this um, tutorial helped you and now you are able to dock without a template ligand in place. We, I hope uh, we see us in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye.